What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Hey Techie for another video. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. And if you're joining us for the very first time, a special welcome to you. Here at Hey Techie, we're interested in building an Apple smart home. And if you're watching, you might well be as well. So if you want to find out more about the latest and greatest HomeKit or Siri shortcut products, tips and tricks about how to get the best tech and the best experience out of your smart home, consider subscribing to the channel right now and hit that bell icon so you get notifications whenever our videos go live. One of the coolest and most desired features in a smart home is the ability to control your curtains. The problem is that this is usually a pretty expensive and tricky thing to automate. Often you'll need to buy and install a customised rig or a motorised track, which can be costly, and if you rent like me, it's probably not something your landlord is willing for you to install. Today's video is all about the SwitchBot Curtain, however, who offer an answer to your smart curtain prayers. This little robot is designed to retrofit any curtain rail into your smart home, and for you Apple fans, it's compatible with Siri shortcuts. So, how does it all work? Well, let's go ahead and find out. As a disclaimer, the SwitchBot curtains you see in this video were provided to me by SwitchBot to review, and so I must offer my thanks to SwitchBot for doing so. Here at Hey Techie, it's part of our pledge to you, our viewers, that we are completely honest when it comes to reviewing products like this. We scrutinise all products thoroughly, whether they're provided to us to review or not. We always offer our genuine opinion on every product we look at, so you can make the most informed choice about your buying decisions. Hey Techie always refuse to accept review items if the company or supplier will not accept the independence of our reviews. So then, I think it's fairly self-explanatory what the SwitchBot curtain does, so I'll jump straight into the unboxing. Inside the box, you'll find your new curtain robot and some paperwork beside it detailing how to install the device. Each box also includes some clips so you can attach them to various different types of curtains and it may improve your overall experience. Each box only contains one robot though, so if you want your curtains to open from the middle, you'll need to purchase a double pack. The SwitchBot curtain comes in black and white, so you can choose the one that suits your aesthetic the best. You'll see here that this model is for a rod curtain rail, which is probably the most common type these days, but SwitchBot do offer different models for you and I rails as well. Unfortunately though, there is no way to adapt your SwitchBot curtain after purchasing them though, so make sure you buy the right one for your needs, and just be aware that if you move house or change your curtain type, you'll need to then buy a new SwitchBot for that different rail. The design is a bit like Marmite, I think you're either going to love it or you're going to hate it. I'm a fan of the design myself, I think it looks quite futuristic, but the white edition does look a little bit like an egg when it's hanging up on the curtain rails, so it is entirely subjective. Say what you will about the design though, the installation of these robots is remarkably easy. Across the top here is a clip which presses onto these two arms. It acts almost like a ratchet, so you slip the curtain rod in between the two, put the clip back across the top and then press down firmly and then you're ready to go to the app. Now both the U and I variants of the device attach in a very similar way, but the sides here actually detach and allow you to slide them into the rail before reattaching to the main component of the SwitchBot. Now the sides do detach from the rod edition as well, but there's really no reason for you to ever need to do this though. The only time you might like to do this is if you're installing the optional solar panel charger, but more on that later on. Depending on what way you hang up your curtains, you can position the robot to be in front or behind the fabric. Now in my testing, it doesn't seem to make any difference to the performance of the device, uh, unless you're also buying the optional solar panel charger, in which case you'll almost certainly want to hang the robot behind the curtain to maximise the amount of light it gets. The solar panels cost another $25 and attach to the SwitchBot using the USB-C port on the back. It's a very convenient way to be able to charge them because if your window receives a good amount of sunlight, you'll basically never need to charge them again. You can just hang them up and they will stay there and charge themselves using the power of the sun. 
Now, in testing, I've not been able to calculate how long it takes for the full battery to be used on the SwitchBot curtain. However, I would estimate that it would probably last about six months, so the solar panels are definitely an optional extra, but if you like the convenience of never having to think about charging them, they might well be for you. One of the greatest aspects of the solar panel is the fact that you can attach them directly to the back of the SwitchBot robot, but the back of the solar panel actually comes off, allowing you to uh, roll out the USB-C cable, so you can actually attach them lower down on your curtains if you would like, using a sticky pad provided to get it that additional sunlight that it might need. Before you install your little robot on the curtain rail, you'll want to head on over to the SwitchBot app and get it connected. The pairing process is pretty easy, and it's done via Bluetooth. Simply press the button on the bot itself and select Add New Device. You'll then be able to add in the Curtain Robot, as you'll see on screen. After taking just a few moments to pair, you'll have added your robot to the app, and it's now ready to calibrate. Now if you're installing a pair of SwitchBot robots, you'll be prompted to do both at the same time, which helps speed up the pairing process. Once they're paired as a group, you can control them at the same time, so if one is triggered, so is the other. To calibrate the robot, the app simply asks you to move the robot using the app to the complete open position of the curtain, and then conversely, the fully closed position. I've done this now a few times whilst recording for this review, and it's always been very straightforward for me, I haven't had a single issue. So that's the robots installed, but ultimately I'm sure you're asking, well, how do they perform? After setup, I found them to be absolutely excellent and they're a great addition to my smart home. When I first started building my smart home, these products were on the top of my list, so I've been very excited to get my hands on them and I had very high hopes. And I think it's fair to say that they've met my expectations. Since Heiteki is all about integration with an Apple smart home, I'd be remiss to say that I do lament the lack of native HomeKit support. Now, you can of course still use Siri shortcuts with these, but you will need the SwitchBot Hub Mini, which does cost extra. However, this little hub is a treat in its own right, and it is worthy of its own video one day. In short, not only does it allow you to integrate SwitchBot devices into your smart home, working not just with Siri, but also with Amazon, Google, IFTTT, SmartThings, and even Clover. But the hub also has the ability to learn commands for localized infrared remote control devices and integrate those commands into those respective voice assistants, which is hugely valuable. In fact, this is how I use my Robert R3000 within my smart home. Whilst you'll still need a hub, you can also integrate SwitchBot products, including the Curtain Robots into HomeKit using Hoobs. It is an expensive addition if you want Hoobs just for this, but it's a great workaround for the moment. Now I'm a huge fan of HomeKit, but Siri Shortcuts is more than adequate, and the SwitchBot app makes it very, very easy to set up the shortcuts. The only thing I'm not a fan of is that you'll need to first manually run the shortcut from each of your Apple devices before that device's Siri then recognizes the shortcut. I'm not sure exactly why this is, but it is a bit annoying. To set it up, you'll need to go into the Curtain Robot on the app and click the little settings cog, and then look for Cloud Service. If you've got a SwitchBot hub nearby, you'll be able to turn it on and then create your own Siri shortcut. There is only two options though, opened or closed, and that is a little restrictive. There may be times where you just want to draw one curtain across to keep the sun out, and Siri shortcuts just doesn't allow for that level of control. You can, however, manually do this in the app. Overall, the functionality of these robots is great. It does exactly what it says in the box. It opens and closes your curtains automatically. You can do this in a variety of different ways. You can either open and close them with the app manually or via a timer or schedule. Or you can even do it when the sunlight drops below a certain level and that's because there is a little light sensor on the SwitchBot itself. You can also use a SwitchBot button or a controller which are sold separately. Use a Siri shortcut command if you have the hub 
or you can just continue to open the curtains normally as if they weren't there at all. If you do pull at your curtain, the little robot recognises what you're trying to do and then sets to work as normal. This makes it a great addition to any smart home because it allows both techies and non-techies to use them seamlessly. Now whilst they are great, it wouldn't be fair to say that they're perfect. My biggest grievance with the SwitchBot curtain is the noise, and I'll be honest, they are not quiet at the best of times. I'm a very heavy sleeper, so it doesn't impact me personally, but for those of you who are light sleepers, you'll definitely wake up to the whiny grind of the robot opening the curtains. They are a bit noisy. When I measured how light they were on my Apple Watch, I recorded readings of around 70 decibels when up close to it on performance mode, and 64 decibels on silent mode, so it's definitely not silent. In fact, I'd recommend just avoiding the silent mode altogether, especially if you're dealing with heavy curtains. There is a painful labouring sound when that mode is trying to move them and it takes so much longer to close. In my opinion, it's better just to bite the bullet and take a few more decibels for the faster, better performance. It's also not possible to change the type of fitting your SwitchBot has, so if you buy a rod curtain, you'll not be able to adapt it if you've moved house and now have an eye rail curtain. Now this is something that could easily be fixed, because the hanging adapters on the various models all install via the edges here that can be popped open easily enough, and perhaps SwitchBot will offer an accessory pack in the future. With that being said, I'm still enormously impressed with these, and whilst they're not perfect, I've been using them daily and they're now a vital part of my smart home experience. They're useful not only for just closing curtains, but they also help to keep my home more energy efficient as well, which is a nice bonus both for the environment and for my wallet. By setting them to work on a timer, it ensures that when the heating comes on in the evening, it's then kept in and not lost through the window. As the light sensing beta continues to improve, that will also be a massive help further, especially if you have windows that get a lot of sun. Also, it's another deterrent when you leave home. Not only will my lights come on automatically in the evening in some rooms, but if the curtains also close, it makes it look as if someone is always home if you happen to be away. Now, that is fairly rare to need in 2020 and so far in 2021, but when things return to normal, this will be a nice perk to help keep your home safe and the burglar away. So there you have it folks, there are the SwitchBot Curtain Robots. What do you make of them? Are they just a gimmick or do you think they're really really cool and you'll be picking up a pair? With SwitchBot teaming up with HeyTechie to bring you this video, they've also offered my viewers a cheeky 10% discount when you use the promo code HeyTechie10 and that works with all items in their store, not just the curtains. Now if you're interested in that, the links are in the description below if you want to go ahead and check them out. Don't forget, if you have enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, drop us a comment down below about what you think about the SwitchBot curtain, and subscribe. It makes a huge difference to Hey Techie about getting more viewers to our channel and more members of our community, so every single interaction really, really helps. So thank you so much for doing that. Remember, we're on Instagram as well, and if you want to vote on our next video, head on over there on Friday, and you'll be able to vote for next week's video. Until next time then, I've been Steven, for Hey Techie.